The Lower Mississippi River Conservation Committee is a coalition of state agencies along the Lower Mississippi River. So each state has a representative from its Fish and Wildlife Agency and from its Water Quality Agency that make up the executive committee of the LMRCC. One of the main focuses of the LMRCC is habitat restoration on the Lower Mississippi River. We've been doing this work since about 2006. And one of our primary restoration targets are side channels on the Lower Mississippi River. Right now, we are at the side channel um, at Prairie Point Towhead um, here at Buck Island, which is just outside of Helena, Arkansas. Buck Island is actually publicly owned by our Arkansas Game and Fish Commission. And then we have this nice side channel here that is really important from a fisheries perspective, but also from a recreational perspective as well. So these side channels provide habitat diversity for lots of different fish and other aquatic species. And they also provide opportunities for paddlers and for anglers to uh, enjoy these areas that are outside of the navigation channel. The work that we do is to go in in cooperation with the Army Corps of Engineers and we put notches into existing dikes that have been placed along the lower river to help maintain a self-scouring navigation channel. These notches are put on the side channels so they're away from the main navigation channel and they have no negative impact to navigation or to flood risk management. So it's late September and right now the river is low enough where we can get in and access these dikes where they're not covered with water and we can actually notch these. So at other times of the year, the, the river is extremely high and would be completely covering these dikes. It's a very dynamic system, so we have to time our construction work when the river is low and we can gain access to these to then allow and provide for that connectivity within the side channels. And we began to sample these notched secondary channels and lo and behold, we did discover that pallid sturgeon and shovel nose sturgeon and big river fish were now utilizing these, uh, these secondary channels with notches. Uh, it showed us that you can reconnect the main river with the secondary channel and, and, and still provide adequate depth in the, in the navigation channel. Uh, it, uh, it opened up whole new doors because all of a sudden, rather the core being the culprit of degrading the environment, now they were actually part of restoring the environment. And that was a huge step forward. And that relationship continued to blossom over time and eventually working with the Fish and Wildlife Service Jackson Field Office, uh, we developed a conservation plan for the three endangered species of the lower Mississippi River, which are the pallid sturgeon, of course, but it also included the least tern and the fat pocketbook mussel. It did require the Corps to continue to monitor the resource. It required us to to continue to work with LMRCC and restore as many or notch as many secondary channels as we possibly can. And that process is certainly going head on right now. The LMRCC has been in existence since 1994 and formed because the states recognized that the Lower Mississippi River is a national treasure and we needed a way to collectively manage the fisheries and other natural resources of the system. To date, we have restored over 56 miles of habitat, and that will increase after this year's projects.